Good morning, good morning, people. So Jaguar Wright and her husband was in a car, and she said she was doing a reaction video. Now, the video that was playing was part of the interview her husband did, and um, he did the interview with Real Life Productions. And so she was reacting. Both of them were kind of reacting to the playback. And boy, he seemed so upset still uh, over everything that happened. And she was busy trying to explain as the video was playing what happened. So it was really her trying to, uh, to explain herself away. And he was so angry at her. He was uh, yelling and screaming for her to listen to the video. And the more he says, listen to the video, the more she felt compelled to explain. So it was quite interesting. And now I figure since it came out that he is violent towards her and talk to her any kind of way, now he don't give a damn how he talks to her. Because normally when they're in the car, you know, he's quiet. He tries to keep everything hush-hush. We usually just see him bop into the music, enjoying the music as they go on their road trips, but now everything is out where she says he beats her and uh, he's put his hand on her before, you know, he cusses at her and all of that. Now he is, he really don't care. He's letting it all out. I want you guys to listen to um, parts of the video. I'm just going to play the recording. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Like, I don't know. I'm thinking, you know, they're going to find some guy yeah. Because I know, like I said before, I, I know how the cops or how law enforcement works. We make those type of phone calls late at night. I didn't. Troopers that I work with, the law enforcement I work with, they said it was the worst. Wait a second. Day. No, I already know. You told me already. I need you to listen. Wait a second. No, I need you to listen. Keish call. It was Keish call. I don't give a f. I don't give a f. Watch the shit. I am. I don't Stop care. Stop yelling at me. I don't care. My thinking is, if Keish, according to Jaguar Wright, she says Keish is the one who called. If Keish called, how did Keish get the information to call? How did she know what was going on in Jaguar's household? Jaguar must have told her. And now she's trying to smooth it over with Gerald, her husband. So basically, he does not want to hear it. He don't want an explanation as to her actions. He is still salty about what happened. I realized that she was gone and she wasn't going to fucking come back. And after the fucking cops had woke me up. Oh, you got a slob on your toe? Yes. 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 So it dawned on him that she's recording his reaction also. He knows he's on camera. Jaguar always keep that camera rolling in the car. So now he's acting all surprised. He wants to be taken off of YouTube. Take me off of YouTube now. Take me off of YouTube now. Where's the f all the lighters? I put a lighter in here. Where's the lighter? Can I have a lighter, please? This is going to the seven. So just listening back to the interview, he is getting upset. She is getting upset. The both of them are reacting to this video. He wants to hear the video. She's not allowing him because she keeps talking over the video. And so that's pissing him off. You know, sometimes when people keep talking over a video, they don't want you to hear it or they don't. They don't want to explain themselves, so they're going to talk over that part, maybe where they wronged you. That's what it appears to be. 
so that was the bone of contention. He said, while they were busy sleeping, she was out with this nigga because she told his mother-in-law, her mother, that she was going to be out for the night. Now, she should have cleared it with her husband. She is a married woman to be out with Solar. And then she said she slept in the car with Solar for three days. So the question is, what were they doing in the car for three days? It's going to come out eventually because Solar is going to tell it. So he said she slapped him up over the friend's house, their friend's house. And she said, you bring all the worst in me. Yes, I slapped you and I jacked you up. So just uh, Jaguar cannot justify her laying hands on her husband. So when he lays hands on her, she cries, oh, yeah, my husband beat me up. Two wrongs don't make a right. So she is wrong also for putting hands on him. You hear you say that shit because this nigga was skinny and grinning because he done <laughs> hypnotized you. And I asked her, I said, do you remember that? And she couldn't say nothing. She changed the subject. He said she couldn't remember and she changed the subject. I guess she was embarrassed. That's why she changed the subject. Because anybody who can get to your mind and into your head so easily to make you act a fool. This is what she's claiming, I guess. That she was hypnotized. And he's claiming she was hypnotized. That's why she was acting that way when she got back in the car from Louisiana. From that restaurant they were at. When they met those people up in there. And uh, Solar was chanting with them. So that's what he's talking about. But Jaguar claims she's such a strong individual. But she's very weak-minded if somebody is able to put her in a trance and hypnotize her that easily. My man, he didn't come home for the night at all. No, f*** Y'all come home together and he decides to leave. So go ahead. Even better, right? If my man comes home with me and decides to leave, just you know, the first thing on my mind is, are you having sex with the person you're with? So I just want to ask, was there ever a question of infidelity in your mind? So when they ask that question, was there ever a question of infidelity in your mind? He said he don't believe his wife consciously or unconsciously had sex with Solar. But remember, guys, she was gone for three nights. And she says she was in the car with Solar. Now, any normal man would think that they're having some type of relationship in that car. So, when he said that he don't believe anything happened, I think that was disingenuous. And then Jaguar says Solar is as young as her oldest son. And he, she don't F with babies. But remember, her husband is younger than her. Knowing that this nigga come from a safe club, knowing that he fucking does hypnosis, knowing that he can do anything, I don't believe there was any point in time God damn it. or is it enough time to do something like that. And I don't believe my wife subconsciously or consciously would even do anything like that. Thank you. We know where you come from. We don't. We didn't know his fucking background, but we know where the body came from. I don't fuck babies. So I'm. That nigga younger than my oldest son. So the point is, if she can mess with her her uh, husband and get married to her husband, he is way younger than her, seven to ten years. Then messing with Solar is not such a stretch. Let's say, let's just say, tell me about 10, ten no, 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 about 10 years younger than you. Or let's just say, he's younger than you. For sure. 
Jaguars are older than you. I don't want to give out ages and all that stuff. Jaguars are older than you. I'm not 46 years old. She's seven years older than you. They say Solar is about 10 years younger than you. It's more, it's probably more. It's more than that, but yeah. Yeah, more than that. Um, so there's an age gap, oh, in, you know, what we're looking at to where, you know, it's always, uh, My wife wouldn't do that. There you Thank go. you. If she wouldn't go down that road, that's too close to her son's age. Thank you. I'm, I'm too young for her. Thank She's you. She's told me this many times. You, you... Yeah, but the point being is that she admits that he, the husband is too young for her, but yet she married him. Okay? So that is the point. She's not, age is really not off limits. So she's trying to now soothe him with, I love you. That's why I wouldn't go there with any younger man because they're too young for me. And this is what he had to say to her. Because I love you. That's he said, B, are you listening? You just keep your mouth running. He was not having it, folks. He just wanted to listen to that recorder to, I guess, remind himself of what went down. And I think he still has some questions in his mind as to where his wife was the three nights that she said she was sleeping in the car with Solar. What really happened? Any sane man would have questions when his wife is gone for three nights with, with another man and says she slept in the car because they would be thinking maybe they checked into a hotel, you know? So it's all alleged, but Jaguar said she slept in the car for three nights with Solar. So that's what we got to roll with, right? Thank you. Thank you because... I didn't have the knowledge to do the things that I know now. But if I didn't meet my wife and God placed her in my life, I wouldn't be in the position that I am now and keeping what I'm getting. Right. So again, because I've been fighting for years to get to my shit. Fuck it, right, baby. Don't get it. Fuck it, back. What? And don't, and don't want to go get the shit because of that to deal with the bullshit. And that's a whole story in itself. A whole story in itself. I know a lot of veterans deal with that bullshit. Man, you stupid. You know what I mean? Man. That's another, yeah, that's, that's another issue. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just curious as far as um, the confrontation prior to the barbershop with you, Jag, and so on. Um, did that go in your favor? Did it go in Jack's favor or so on's favor? Because when I called my wife, I was already at the barbershop. I, I was making sure I wasn't going to be at the house. When she came back, like I said, I'm going to be a man of my word. I'm, you left with that nigga, I ain't going to be at the house when you come back. Matter of fact, I noticed that you got this nigga to call uh, Uber for the family to go to church. And this nigga was asking your phone while you sleep. Which pissed me the fuck off. That's your husband. Listen. Why the fuck is this bitch ass nigga asking your phone talking about she asleep? Bitch ass nigga, wake your ass up. Since you're supposed to be her such and such, we can ask her for something she got a responsibility that for her family to do right now. Right now. Right now. Exactly. That part two. Nigga, don't touch my... So he says he left the house, went to the barber shop. Call her up, told her he's now going to be home when she gets back. She gets back and he's not there. Now, mind you, she gets back three nights after being gone with Solar. So he's at the barber shop chilling. I'm telling you, folks, this is not over. This man got this in his mind, in his spirit, because he said when he called his wife, Solar is telling him over the phone she's asleep. What is this man, this young man, who his wife just met two weeks ago, telling him over the phone that she's asleep? He says he called her up to remind her she needs to pick up family to take them to church. Solar is answering the phone. She's asleep. I'm telling you, for any man, that would have been whipping words, okay? That would have been on sight. Because, and Solar is so damn disrespectful when you think about it. For him to encroach on a marriage this way shows that he has no sense of right or wrong. How dare he? 
interject himself into someone's marriage this way. Yeah, that's wild. That's wild. That's wild. For someone that's been around better part, of, better part of a yeah, better part of a less part three of, days. Um, fourteen hundred and ten baby, fourteen hundred and ten. And that is so poignant. Someone who's been wrong for three days. I thought it was two weeks at that point. His uh, Gerald said it was only three days. And that is really wild. Like they put it, it's wild. Because it's insanity. Somebody who is wrong that short period of time, you in the car with for three nights and then calling the person your nephew. Come on now. And then put it out there that I don't sleep with babies. So what you doing with a man three nights in a car? And then when your husband calls, you the man is picking up the phone saying that you're asleep. What you doing sleeping with a man in your house that you only known for about two weeks? So guys, a reminder, this is a reaction video of Jaguar Wright in the car with her husband. As they listen to the part one, and I believe it was part one there is another video part two but they were interviewed by real life productions and they are reacting to the video their honest reaction and jaguar is uh you know she's just acting out in the car because she don't want to hear half the things that's coming out um to give her reaction she's kind of you know on the fence with a lot of things acting as if She's nervous as hell because she knows her husband is getting upset all over again. Go cool off. So you're thinking like maybe time will heal this. So let me just let me process what's happening. Don't even go over there. Don't even think about. 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 You don't have to be smart to see the reflection in the glasses, uh, Gerald. Anybody can see that reflection. If your wife is away for three nights, anybody would ask the question, what is she doing with a man in a car for three nights? I've been trained to see certain shit. I know if I see the shit, I know I listen to that. That's what I listen to. Shit. So, I try to explain this shit to my wife with one way or the other. Finally, it's warming up. Man, this is a nigga sitting inside next to a dark audience. Let me tell you. You know, I was like, oh, what is that? I'm on my way back home with, with, with my family and went, went back to the house from church. Oh, so you went to church? Oh, no, no, no. I, I just picked up my, my mom, and, mom and Sam. So, folks, at that point, he dropped the F bomb, and any man in his right mind would get upset also. Because she's telling him over the phone she is with family about to come back from church. And he said, What family? And she's Sam, her, Mama, and Solar. And he's like, Solar, since when he become family? You just met this uh, N-word uh, about two weeks ago. Why is he there with my family? So all this here, inner tension and hostility led up to that big fight in front of the barbershop that day. My name is Elise. I say. To ask me to get the fuck out of my house. If he doesn't, I can use as necessary forces as I can. Let's take some walk. So at that point, he said, he told his wife, Jaguar, when he gets home, he don't want that person, Solar, in his house or else it's going to be problems. This is alleged, but I can hear Solar now. You ain't going nowhere. You my nephew. You ain't going nowhere. This is my house. I got my lease on this house. You ain't going nowhere. I can hear her now. Totally. Don't. Step over my threshold of my house or I'll beat your bitch ass. I said that. I don't want you or your family, bro. You want to talk in the background about what we do about you, big man? I'm uh, Jaguar's friend. That's my fucking wife, nigga. And she got to listen to me. She says, well, I to listen to her. And if I feel and smell fishy, nigga, it's fishy. 
And as the order goes by the Most High, it's the Most High, me, Jack, Sam. Why can't we just be one? Why you got to be one? God's order. In my house. That's why. Since you listen to God, God's it's God's order. order. Yeah, but we supposed to. Ah! So Solar was dealing with Carbon Nation for a long time, and he figured the same F shit that he did over there, and Nature Boy did over there, trying, you know, dividing husbands from their wives and sleeping with the wives. He figured he was going to do the same thing with Gerald and Jaguar. But Gerald, being a man, told him to get the hell out. And he wasn't backing down. He kept coming and coming. You know, right up on their Jaguar to bring her into his little harem. But let me tell you, Gerald kicked that ass and kicked him to the curb, okay? He's still wiping his tail from the beatdown that he got. I'm not going to touch you. But I'm that nigga, oh yeah. He heard me say, don't walk in my motherfucking shit. Period. Motherfucking period. We heard you. You said it. Period. Oh, you, you don't even. You didn't even know what the fuck to say. I ain't catching no more details to save nobody. Say if this nigga wanna fuck you oh, up, no, I'm gonna let him nothing. do it. I'm gonna let God sort it out. Shit. I ain't catching no more ass you know to save from this man. I don't even save my own damn dog. Ready for a confrontation? He was trying to buy. So Jaguar said she ain't catching no more beat down. Over Solar, <laughs> over her husband. She said, I couldn't even save myself. I couldn't even save my dog. I ain't catching no more beat down. You on your own, Solar, if you want to come around me. I'm paraphrasing, folks. If you want to come around me in the future, and my husband choose to put an ass whipping on you, you on your own, buddy. I ain't coming in between it no more. Because I done sprained my, my, my fingers, my wrist. My shoulder got all left up. I got bruises all over my body. And I'm still alive. But I'm here to tell the tale. I ain't catching no more fate over you. You're on your own. You choose to come around me in the future and see what happens. You're going to get your ass whipped. And over time, he's laughing because he had me on the phone. He's like, you got all right to whip his ass. So the Uber driver was in agreement. He said, you got a right to whip his ass. Any man would have told him that. Any man passing your threshold, going in your house with your wife and saying how much she, he loves her, you got a right to kick that ass to the curb, period. So that Solar got a lot of nerve, folks. Gerald gets home, although he told this man he better not be there when he gets home. He gets home and Solar is there. He told him, N-word, you better get. You got two seconds to get the hell out of my house. The man is there, pompous, just in your face. I'm Jaguar's friend. What the hell that got to do with it? This this is the man of the house. He wants your little red ass to leave. You see, that's shit. Right. And when I said that, my wife's mouth dropped. Like, oh, shit, I forgot about that. You're so fucking crazy. It's not a matter of being crazy. Is a matter of respect. Jaguar showed her husband no respect, and because she showed him no respect, invited this young man who she only met like two weeks before, and 
when she invited him into the home without dis without uh, regarding her husband's wishes, the young man was able to disrespect Goomba as a result because he figured, your wife ain't showing you no respect, so I don't have to give you no respect. So when Goomba told him to leave the house, he was refusing to leave because of Jaguar, showing such disrespect towards her husband. I'm telling the truth. That's the crazy. I'm going to ask for this nigga out of my house. Like I said, you can't have my house, nigga. You were getting a point where I pushed you off him, and we was about to stay in the and in the parking lot. What? My husband? What is it? What is that shit? Listen. So Goomba said he haven't forgotten it. And I believe he remembered every little thing. He just want to replay that tape, that uh, video over and over to seal it in his mind, the wrong that his wife did him. That's what this nigga at my house. You don't fucking know this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Get this nigga out. My fucking nigga very disrespectful. What is he doing at this time? When you're, when you're like, hey. to Gerald. He used refrain at that point because he says he walked him to the front door and escorted him out of the house because he was refusing to go. Keep saying that he's Jaguar's friend and, and Jaguar wants him to be there. A lot of guys would not have used such restraint. They would have beat his ass right there. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. You go to me. Hold on. I'm, you already know I'm not going to fight you. You know I'm not going to play there. That's why I said. Who Listen. This is man to man. Please move. It was an unfair thing. Listen! Now you call this big ass scene. Everybody outside. Everybody. So he said at this point, Jaguar is trying to beat on him because she's trying to stop him from putting out her nephew. This They take this outside. At this point, a big you know, hoop hollering and everybody's stopping and honking the horn and it's a big scene. All because he wanted to put this man out of his house. Can you imagine an invasion of this carbon nation individual who wants to come and take over his family? Uh, he trying to put a stop to it. And Jaguar is out of her mind saying that this is her nephew. This this person that she just met, not even two weeks prior. Well, I started walking I get to a point where there's some bitches and I sit down and I'm on the phone with my big brothers and I'm talking to them. Please calm me down. He calms me down. And at that point, a winter slider gets me flying out the motherfucking parking lot, jagging this nigga. Zoom ass me. I fucking cuss them. Motherfucking bitches. He kept going. He used to see the car like he a fucking uh, pimp and bought a bitch drive. And I'm looking like, are you fucking shitting me, nigga? That's a wild scenario. Yo, so that is wild. Can you guys imagine with everything that went down so far? Solar had the nerve to go in the car and sit down with Jaguar, and Jaguar had the nerve to be entertaining him in the car. So, Gerald, her husband now, Sees this. What do you think a man is supposed to do at this point? Go ham, right? No, he went to the barber shop and just to cool down. That's when both of them up their behinds to go to the barber shop to confront him and jump him. And that's when all this big, you know, police involved and ambulance and all of that started. 
that's how that all happened with her going to the psych ward and all of that. But I mean, the nerve of Solar, and not only Solar, Jaguar also, she got some culpability in all this mess. You cannot excuse Jaguar and say, okay, she's crazy. That's why she acted that way. Nah, she was in her right mind when all this was going down. She was just so stuck on stupid. And some people say, Dickmatized. It's all alleged, folks. But there's no reason for her to have disrespected her husband to that point. How many years of marriage, in opposed to two weeks of meeting this N word? Okay. Anyway, YouTubers, that was what led up to the big confrontation with the cops, the ambulance, her going to the mental institution, etc. So drop your comments. That was part one, I believe. There's a part two. You guys can go check it out. The video is on Real Life Productions. Go check it out. Big up to Real Life Productions. YouTubers, I'm over and out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Thank you for watching.